Man, we really should do it today. Pretty boring, eh? We should probably do, go and do something, eh? There's a few things, but I don't know why. Pretty bored. Oh, I mean, we could, we could go for a drive, man. Oh, no, bro! We should definitely go for a drive. Let's go for a full drive, bro. It'd be so sick. <laughs> Let's go right now, we're gonna be sick. We can go for like a four wheel drive, and then we'll be like, oh, we'll be sitting on the tracks, and they're like, huh? and then, and then I'm pretty sure we go after that for like a hike, and we're like walking and walking and stuff. Yeah, hey, this is awesome. This is so cool. I love bro. walking. I love this stuff. This is sick. I'm gonna walk real far. Oh, oh yeah, no, I love walk, walking. Walking, I love walking. It's so much fun. I burn the legs. Oh, so good. And then, and then, and then oh, oh, oh. Look at the motorbox out. We're going for the motorbox. Oh, my God. Woo! Oh, it's so sick. Go, go. Go, boy, yeah. Yeah, go, go. Woo! Get it, get it. Yeah. It's so sick. <laughs> Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just do it. Night. Right now. Yes, go, go. <laughs> This sucks! What? Stupid idea. It sucks, man. Why do we do this? Who stupid idea it was this? Sucks! This is stupid. Oh. <sighs> Honestly, confidently say that could probably knock someone out right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, welcome back to the Weekly Mish. A bit of a change in scenery from the last one. Um, snow instead of rain. Cold, very cold. Um, got the motorbikes. We go hunting some big old red stags. We got two goals for this trip: nail over a hind or two, have a big old cook up on the last day, or shoot a big mature stag. So we're frothing. Let's get into it, and uh, it's gonna be a sick episode. Let's go rip. The smell of petrol and the sound of an engine really brings me back to primary school. <laughs> Alrighty, well we've got to our lovely spot where we're going to leave the motorbox in an off we safe place but we cover over them, lock them up so no one can uh, steal them. But um, yeah, motorbike's locked up and we're ready to go. We are going to poke up this valley here. It's pretty tough but you've got to trust your gut and hunt the stags high this time of year. So we're actually going from this nice tussock stuff right back up into the snow. Anyway, we'll head up high, look for a nice stag or a hind, and see what we can see. Let's crack into it. So we've just found this pretty big cave. Riley's a bit scared, but... Uh, I'm so scared. Me and Thomas seem to be all good. Uh, well, it's a cave <laughs> in the mountains, but we've probably some dead bodies in here, bro. <laughs> this is scary shit. We've spent oh, almost a full day getting in here, and to find a random cave in the middle of nowhere is quite cool, so let's go for a look. Well, yeah, we've found a, another cave, and this cave was sown. So I'll stretch out my arms, and. Reach up, <laughs> it's a big cave or big tunnel, so. There's some old, obviously, like miners' markings on the side here. Do not come in, you will feed the monster. <laughs> that scares me even more. Scared for <laughs> the last one, and I'm scared you more for this oh, one. Oh, you better come in. Sweet, oh, I um, spotted a couple of hinds across on the, on the shade over there. That means it's gonna be cold, but we're gonna put the stalk on and see if we get in close and put a shot away. They're not that far away, they're about 600 yards, so um, not gonna be a very hard stalk, so that's good. We'll get the win in our favour. Put some miles in, we haven't got much light left, so better get into it. Let's rip it. It's a new one. Just like Seeps? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Seeps? Should we just camp here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Should we just camp here and dump tomorrow? Someone's gonna die. Try to get on this 
rock in here. Has it got bullets in the neck? Yeah, bullets in the neck. Oh, the sc uh, uh, stand by. Is that the shot of the needle is? Sweet, I oh, hope. We stuffed up those horns, um, we got a wind and they bug it off, it's a bit of a shame, but um, we're just going to go for a wee evening hunt in their sort of general direction where they spook to and see if we can maybe see them. If not, we did see a lot of um, goats over there, so I might go and drill a um, billy, but yeah, that's our plan, bit of a bugger, but no. Oh. Happens. Well, it's been a pretty tough day, really. We've seen uh, a good handful of animals, and thank goodness we managed to see some reds, not just goats. <laughs> um, Put a stalk on them hoping to uh, shoot one for a cook up later on this video but they gave us the slip anyway we've still got plenty of hunting to be done um, gonna go hard tomorrow morning and uh, see if we can smoke something so stay tuned it's gonna be epic there's plenty more animals in here i'm sure let's go have a look it was quite a cold night last night and uh when we say these things we're not telling porkies i'll show you an example boot one two and three, all frozen Stuck together. together. Oh, and there's the gator. That's uh, this is normally quite a flimsy piece of fabric, and uh, I'd honestly confidently say that could probably knock someone out right now. <laughs> <laughs> My sock, the cave's head. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> She's pretty uh, solid. We sit in well, line for 7.30. It's now, must be about quarter past eight, maybe 8.30. And we haven't left purely because we can't get our feet in our boot. Don't worry, we're not those kooks that leave your boots outside the tent. These were inside the tent, right by, tucked up by our feet, and they still froze. Oh god. That's not happening. <coughs> what was it? Nope. Sweet. Oh, well, after a bit of a slow start this morning from trying to brush their boots in the tent, we've changed our plans. We're going to punch up here for a bit of a day hunt, leave the tent in the packs here and um, see what we can see for this morning and get as far as we can up and then come back and grab the tent. But yeah, bit of a slow start, so I suppose let's go and get into it. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, how good. We've just sat down, done a wee bit of glassing and picked up three separate mobs of stags. The majority of them look like, you know, super young fellas, nothing we'd have a crack at. There is one stag um, up to our left here, right in the bluffs that looks like he's on his way to being a mature model but um, he's still a long way away, so if we get a better look at him, we'll decide whether we have a crack or not, but um, we're just loving picking up some animals, and it's good to see some red deer, some target species, if you will. Well, if you're liking what you're seeing throughout this video, it would help us out so much if you guys can like and subscribe. Um, all that weird stuff, it, uh, it really does help us out and means we can keep smashing out this content, so um, enjoy the rest of the video. There's plenty more to come, and I uh, can't wait for it. Get more of this moustache. Well, we're still a wee while away, but from what we can see, he looks like a good shooter, so we're going to have a fair crack. We'll still uh, get a wee bit closer and have one more little look see at him before we make the final call, but we are going to put a stalk in and uh, see if we can get close. It's going to be icy, it's going to be tough, it's going to be steep. Let's have a crack. I don't have any gators, so snow just going to straighten my boots. Oh, oh, oh. It sucks. It's cold as well. Very cold. Probably like two degrees. Yeah. No, probably, probably not. But no, no. So um, unfortunately we came up here, we put the long range camera on him and the lads had a look and we realised he's actually not quite there yet. So mm. we've walked about probably a K and a half um, given the up and downs and he's just not quite there. So got to leave him, got to walk away and um, 
we'll try find a hind this evening or a big stag. It's, it's made a tough day even tougher. That's hunting. It's been a hard day. Righto, we've been parked up for around 30 or so minutes, had a quick bit of lunch and now we're going to blast out for an evening hunt. Just going to check out some of the low stuff, see if we can find a meat animal. Uh, looking forward to it, let's get into it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Go again, just go again. Shoot another one if you want, honestly. Yeah, you yeah. smoked it, and I got it on film. That's done, that's us done, two hinds. Sweet, oh well, looks like golden one has been achieved. Two lovely um, hinds, well hind and a yearling here. Um, it's gonna be Beautiful eating tomorrow um, for our catch and cook part of the episode, which we're absolutely looking forward to. But oh, yeah. yeah, it's we're stoked to get these girls on the dom deck. We've seen a lot of deer this trip. It's great to knock over a couple of hinds wherever you can. They'll be beautiful eating, as Raz said. We're going to carry a fair bit of meat out on the motos, and we are frothing. Let's cut some cut some meat off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Righto, we've just butchered up that yearling and hind. We're going to take as much meat as we possibly can. Uh, we're going to fill up both my backpack and Tomo's backpack and uh, we're going to have a big mahi dog of a day getting it all the way back to the ute. So stoked to take these couple of hinds, going to be a mean cook up, stay tuned because we have some good meals planned. Oh yeah. Shop on. Drink away. Drink away. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you in the morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Like no, I'll see you in like 10 days and then I'll see you back in 1994 and then back in 10 days. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. Well, we've woken up to some pretty average weather here. Uh, the forecast had it coming in about five or six hours later than it has, but we're going to work with the cards that we've been dealt and move forward. It's going to be a pretty exciting trip out. Um, we'll take the rifle with us, we might see something, but if not, we're going to have to rip the motos around and, uh, and chug our way out of here. So, looking forward to it. It's going to be a wet afternoon, and uh, we'll do our best to capture it all on video. Alright, well, after a bit of a average walk back, well it wasn't that bad, but we're back at the motors here, um, they've got them all warmed up and uh, rearing to go, so it's a couple of K ride back to the truck and um, get out of here, but glad to be back in the motors. My bum was a bit sore from the ride in, but uh, yeah. I'm ready to fall off a few times. <laughs> That's alright mate, have a good problem. ready to rip it down. ready to rip a new one. Rip a new one in. 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 Rip can break. Oh. Pull me off my bike. Did it? And it like, before. Yeah, well, fucking pulled my pack off. Because <laughs> uh, they both like rat ran. Because they were both dangling like. And I was like, <laughs> oh no. You okay? Yeah. I'll save that fucking pack. We're back to the car now after a pretty epic motor ride through the snow and the rain. But stay tuned, we're not done yet. We're about to head back and do an epic wee cook up. So if you like your wild meats or you like food in general, stay tuned because uh, we're going to have a crack. Oh, sweet. Oh, we're back to the prime spot. We're going to do our nice and catch and cook part of the episode. We've got our lovely meat here, been cut up by uh, Gabe Ross. He's done a fantastic job there. Thanks, guys. We've got our um, rub or ingredients to make up some nice homemade rubs and um, some other ingredients we're going to be messing with this evening. 
Um, explain, please explain. We've got three meals here, kind of a tapper's style kind of gig. Um, essentially, we have Riley is going to have a crack at... Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's going to be back steak wrapped in bacon. I don't know what it's called. I've never seen it done before. I've never done it before, but I'm going to do it, and it may work, it may not. We'll we're see. not culinary experts, keep that in mind. <laughs> um, then next up, we're going to have some uh, very thin sliced venison um, tostadas, you know, kind of like a little, you know, a little, little bite size kind of thing. And then uh, finally, we're going to have um, toasted ciabatta with thin sliced venison, very medium rare, and a few microgreens. Yeah. That's what it sounds like in theory. Let's see if we can execute. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah, good luck to you, sir. Thank you. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but let's just do it. <laughs> Thinnest piece of venison down here, and we're gonna start wrapping it in bacon. Bring bacon. That looks really good. It does look pretty good. And then you're just gonna season the like, out exterior of the bacon and stuff. Bro. Actually, yeah, probably should have put some rub on the Yeah, I was gonna, uh, but it's too far gone now. Oh, no, it's gonna be fine. Just tell the viewers that you did. Yep. Shh, shh. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice sound. That is a nice sound. <laughs> what are you doing, Gabe? A sworn rub for me. Um, wild Fennel Co. This is not a paid promotion. I just bloody love the stuff. So I'm going to rip that onto my little uh, QB steaky things. And bloody good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, nice, nice. It's a nice touch. Nice wee touch to the Lovely touch. Look, look how bad it's getting. Okay, well, what am I doing with this? We'll cook yours Currently up, cooking. Yours up. Yeah, I'll tidy. Yep. You just start doing that, I'll just keep I'll it on. I'll just tidy. Off. Everything on mine's completely ready to be cooked. Yeah. So I'll just do it down there. And as long as that stays warm, and we can serve it all together down there. <coughs> uh, I'll start the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, okay, we have moved. It was raining significantly outside, and now we're here. Let's crack in. <laughs> And venison bacon is served. Wow. Chin quick. All right, well, the venison and bacon is done. It's a little bit overcooked, never done this before, but um, let's give it a go and see how I did. Two opposite ends of the piece. Cheers, Cheers. buddy. I'm almost cheers. That's right, so good. That is beautiful. Oh, so good, huh? But it's not. Not that chilly. It is a little bit overcooked, but it's mint. Oh, mm. ah. mm. oh yes, well yeah, we're well done as well. We're getting them off. We don't want to overcook. Awesome. So my uh, small pieces have gone in for the uh, what are they called again? To to um to to tostitos. Tostitos. Yes, my small pieces have gone in for the tostitos, and I'm now toasting the chiabaja. Thank you. Chiwa. Ciabatta. Alright, here we go. We have um, thin sliced venison on ciabatta with a few microgreens and a wee balsamic glaze. Oh. So uh, hopefully this goes alright. Um, balsamic glaze. Oh, yeah. Let's have a wee nibble. Go for it. We've got this piece here. Mm. Mm. Oh yes, I'm a bit more like a chew. <laughs> <laughs> I might, I might take a wee. Right. I don't. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, good. Beautiful. All good. Yeah. All right, here we have uh, our venison tostadas. So a little bit of raw onion and uh, a little bit of honey mustard topped there. So should be pretty tasty. Um, let's give it a go. Oh, just a little bit of meat there. Mm. Well, that's good. That's real good. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, what an epic few days we had out there. It was pretty sick. Um, ticking off our goal of getting a couple of meat animals. Um, mm. We've just had an awesome cook up, bloody good feed, and uh, stoked to use that meat in a very epic way. Epic way is, is an understatement, mate. That feed was beautiful. beautiful. That pork wrapped venison. No, no. These ciabatta mm. buns, a bit of venison. Oh, mm. mate. Winning. Thanks very much. Oh, well, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much for watching and we're frothing. Chinque. Chinque. Chinus.